Hello class. On today's lecture, we are going to learn about transtibial bandaging. Now, let us learn how to do transtibial bandaging. So, a sequential pattern is been shown here. So, we will learn each stages one by one. So, we have to remember that the main aim is to bring out a figure of eight pattern. So, what we do is in case of the posterior side, we go for semicircular turns and in the anterior aspect, we go for angular turns that is we will go for diagonal turns to form the figure of eight pattern. Okay, And we start from the proximal uh, part of the residual limb and we will go to distal and again back to proximal. So, this is how we are going for the um, bandaging. So, let us start with the diagram 1. So, as you see here, we are starting from the proximal aspect. Okay, So, this is the first point. We have to start from the proximal aspect of the uh, medial or lateral tibial condyle. So, as you can see here, this is the lateral tibial condyle. So, we are starting from here and we are going to the uh, anterior aspect diagonally and to the distal end of the um, residual limb. So, from here we are going to make a posterior turn and either take two different turns. Okay. So, if the uh, stump or the residual limb is shorter, we will directly go back to the initial position. So, as you can see in 2a, right, we ended up in the distal position, then we went back to the starting position. But it is not the case in case of long residual limb. So, in case of long residual limb, we will not go to the starting position. So, this is the starting position, but we are not going there, right? So, we will directly go to the lateral aspect below and we will try to make an X pattern. So, this is how we are going for the second turn. Okay. So, now let us go to the next um, bandaging pattern. So, after the second turn, we are going to make a turn in the posterior aspect medial to lateral. Okay. Then, we are going to make an anchoring turn over the distal thigh, but we are going to spare the patella. We can see that in our diagram 3, 4 and 5. So, in the third diagram, this is the anchoring turn over the uh, distal patella. So, in the third diagram, you can see the anchoring turn over the distal thigh, this one, okay. And in the fourth and fifth also it's visible. Can you see this one? So, this is the anchoring turn, okay. This is over the distal thigh, just above the knee joint, uh, but we are sparing the patella, okay. So, only one anchoring turn is made above the uh, knee joint. Fine. So, after this anchoring turn, the bandage is brought back around the opposite tibial condyle and then down to the distal end of the limb. So, you can see here the bandage is brought back down to the distal condyle and then we are starting the figure of 8 pattern. So, this is what we are going to follow. Then in this here also you can see we are bringing it from here then 8 then again we will go from this to the posterior aspect and again, again 8. So, in this way you can check out 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, the figure of 8 pattern is coming out. Okay. So, after this, we are going to use a, a new bandage. Okay. So, we will finish the first bandage till here. And in the ninth diagram, you can see that we are using a new bandage. So, it is written here second bandage. Uh, the difference in this bandage is if we are starting the first bandage from the uh, lateral aspect then we have to start the second bandage from the medial aspect you can see here we are starting it from the medial aspect of the uh, uh, medial tibial condyle okay so in the same way we will follow it uh, the 2a and 2b is similar to 10a and 10b and then we will finally get the uh, bandaging complete by 
the eleventh diagram. So as you can see here, the figure of eight is maintained very nicely, right? And uh, the crossing over is done about half of the previous bandage. Okay. So this is how uh, we are going to do the transtibial uh, bandaging after transtibial uh, amputation. So I know it seems difficult, but if you keep on practicing it, uh, it turns out to be quite easy. So I hope you um, keep on trying and become an expert in bandaging for amputation patients. Thank you everyone.